I find if I record these things, then it helps other people in your position, and I don't have to yeah. spend more time doing it. Yeah, definitely. So can you see this okay? What I've written on the top? Yeah, I can see that. Fantastic. Right. So from what you said, you're having a bit of problem with lighting. Um, yeah, just in, adding the connections. Yeah, just in general, really. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I don't struggle with like one way, two way two-way and intermediate as much but it's more like if there's a light switch with a fan okay and and there's say like a two gang or a three gang or a four gang so okay. there's two way for two way for that switch two way for that one then a fan then the light and okay well yeah the first thing that you need to realize when you're doing this uh liam is that you're only ever really going to be dealing with four types of cable Okay, so four conductors. You've got your CPC. Yeah. Your neutral conductor. You've got your permanent live. And, and then switch. you've got switch live. That's it. Okay. And yeah. then all the CPCs join together. All the neutrals join together, unless yeah. double pole switch. All the permanent lives join together. And then all you're left with is CPC. Uh, sorry, um, switch wires. Yeah. Okay. And then that's yeah. what you just need to think about. Um, le electricity, when you're running cables, it's one of those things that once you understand the rules, it doesn't matter how you wire it up. You know, when I do um, boiler wiring, most people like to have a wi one wiring center and everything goes back to that. Well, that isn't always feasible. So as long as you understand that you can run a seven core cable to a longer point and then have a two junction boxes, it's going to make no difference. Okay. Yeah. And all you're doing then, you've got your CPC, you've got a permanent neutral and a uh, permanent live, and then you've got four switch wires that you can use from that point. Yeah. So that's all it comes down to. So I guess what, because I didn't, wasn't sure what you were asking for, I've, I've sort of drawn up a, a pendant, two switches, and if we, if you wanted to do intermediate, we could talk about that. And then I've got a fan over here. Now that supply could be from the consumer unit, it could be from the previous line cutting, it could be from a switch spare, it doesn't matter. It's just the permanent live, neutral, and the nerve, which we're going to leave out for clarity. You, you're familiar with the ceiling rows, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where does the permanent live go into? In the middle. Okay, into the loop, yeah? So right later. Yeah, loop. All right, so if I take that into the loop, and then if we wire up this switch, uh, in fact, I'll, I'll do the same with the neutral, so at least that's in there. Okay. So there's our supply to the light. Yeah. So how are we going to wire up the switch? So the um, <coughs> the um, the common will be we'll go to the middle of the sedum rows. Okay. So from here, I'll jump over the cable like that, and I'll go straight into the common. Okay. Yeah. Then what's next? And you'll have the neutral. Sleeve brown go into the here's your first mistake. Don't call it a neutral. If you call it a neutral, you will confuse okay. the hell out of yourself. Yeah, I mean, so call I it mean, a switch really. live. Yeah, yeah. Colour is irrelevant, okay, Liam. Uh, that's that's the first thing that I tell the apprentices. It doesn't matter whether it's pink, green, spotted. It, it, it the, the, the sleeving makes no difference, you know, the colour of the core. We sleeve it to then identify it afterwards. So don't look at it as a blue neutral that we're switch leaving brown. Look at it as a switched live that's bright blue that we're going to sleeve brown. Yeah. That will come out of where? L1. L1. Right, I'll tell you what, for the, for the purpose of this being easy, I'm going to squat the L1 and the L2 over on this line. So if you understand how a light, that's all it is, is where the common is, that light flicks like, and um, that switch inside just yeah. moves pendulum on off yeah it doesn't matter whether that's l1 or l2 but for the purpose of this diagram if i swap it over it and then that just comes back up to where into the it will switch the um on the other side yeah there into the into the switch live yeah yeah i will do it in blue and then i'm going to sleeve it afterwards Because let's pretend we're talking about twin and earth. I'll put a bit of sleeving on that. Like right, so. Happy with that? Yep. Okay. Now, here's the easy bit then. 
We need a permanent supply at the fan. We need a neutral at the fan. And we need a switch light at the fan. So where are we going to get the light from? Just be from the middle of the um, sealing rose. Okay, so from the loop? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me bring that down. Cut that over. So there's my permanent supply. What's next? And your neutral will just, they will just be joined through the neutrals. So I'm going to bring that down, jump that back down, and that will come into the neutral. Okay. And then the switch line. Anything. It will just, yeah. it will just go the switch. in. The switch. So I'm going to make it red just for the purpose of, um, you know, to see what's going on. So I'll bring that down there. That comes over there, over there. All right, well, what I'm going to do, the same thing again. I'll, um, I'll bring the supply in at the bottom. The low. Neutral, can you see that? I can't quite yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and we're going to use Wagos, let's say. Yeah. Um, uh, L1. Right, well done. Good. Again, L1 or L2, it doesn't matter as long as you follow yeah. it all the way through. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. The same thing. That makes it easy. I would come on the the the, uh, the bottom switch, the first switch. Yeah. I'd go from the brown from L1 to brown from the L1 to two two core and a half, twin and a half, from brown from L1 to the brown on the ceiling rose. Okay, so if this was the ceiling rose, let's say, let me draw that in. Yeah. Now, what is the brown cable? We have switched line. Is it? No, permanent. Okay, so the brown is the permanent light. Yeah. So if I run that up to this light, What's going to happen? It's going to stay on. It's going to stay on, okay. Permanently live. So what we want is we want the switch live. So will it come from the common then? It won't come from the common, no, because that literally just joins these two lock switches together. So it will come from the L2. Okay. So if I draw, again, because that's going to be twin enough, there'll be a brown core in there. I'll follow that up. That will go up to here. And that will go into there. And then the neutral for that line will come out of where? Neutral, um, the neutral, the way you go. Way goes, yeah. So again, we can just take that out there. That will go up and that goes in there. Yeah. Now, when this is switched on, obviously that comes on. Um, I'll show you how it, I'll show you how the switch works quickly. I mean, if you look at this now, is this light on or off? It'll be off. It will be off, yeah. So I say to I say to our apprentices, huh. start off with in the first year, we have to use our electrician's finger. <laughs> okay. And you have to trace it, physically trace it and follow the cable way. Yeah. And uh, now when I first started out, I'll be on site and I'll be going, right, feed comes into this light, it comes down to the switch, it goes back to this, and I'll be following it around with my finger. Eventually you can get rid of the finger and you'll be able to do it in your head. Okay? Yeah. So if we follow the supply comes in, goes straight through this. And it goes round in a loop. At no yeah. point does it touch the L2. Now, if I switch that switch on, the strappers will turn it on. Yep, that will go across there. And now the feed comes through L1 onto this L1, through this switch, and down through the strapper. So, again, you said to me before, do I need to sleeve the strapper? Yeah. No, because it's the connection between the two switches. So it is a permanent, it is, I'm sorry, it is a switch light. Okay. okay. So now it's coming through here, through the switch, going down the strapper, back through this switch. As soon as it hits L2, I know that my light is going to come on because I'm connected into it. At which point I could go up to this switch and I could switch it back off again. So again, if you look here, the feed comes into the first switch. It's not on, so it can't go any further there. Onto the next switch, this is now off, it can't go anywhere. Then I can come down to this switch, switch that back on. Feed comes to here, through the switch, up the strapper, down to L2, 
This L2 is joined to that L2, which now means that the light comes on. Okay? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And again, we can switch that back off again, and we've gone around full circle. So we know our switch works. Yeah. If I wanted to take a fan out of that, what would I have to do? Uh, Grey sleeve blue into the neutral, into okay. the way go. Into the so way go. Into the way go. I'm going to take it out of here because I'm going to put this here. Draw up, draw up. Yeah, okay, I'll have to come out of here. I don't, again, I don't have a grey. Yeah. So I'll have to do it like that. So we've got the neutral out of the way, though. Where's the permanent supply going to come from? Again, common. Let me... Are you sure? Where's uh, my the per supply? permanent supply? Yeah. Oh, no, go in the sealant rows. Don't forget, my. Oh, is all, everything's got to come back to here, doesn't it? Because of the, the cable's not split. We're not running singles. We're running uh, free cord out. So everything has to come back to this light switch. So we've got the neutral. Yeah. Which terminal out of L1, L2 and common is the permanent live in? The L1. Perfect. Well done. So again, my supply can come out of the L1. I know I'm drawing it around this way, but it's because I've run out of space. And then where's the switch light going to come out of? L2. Perfect. There you go. And the switch light, which would be black. So I'll make it black. It's going to come out of L2. Over that. Over that. And into there. And then we sleeve that at both ends. Now it does get really complicated when you're trying to draw it out on a board. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, just trying to go through it on my head on site as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, again, you get used to, I mean, we, I use all the same colours. So I always put browns when I'm doing two way, browns permanent lives into L1. Grey and blue, which is the switch lives into L2. Black is the common. That's that done. Okay. Then you move on to the next thing and you, you, you think about what cores you've got in that cable. Well, you've got a CPC where well, they all go together. I've got a neutral where well, they all go together. So now all I've got is a brown core left, potentially, which I either make a switched life or a permanent life. Now, do I want the light to be permanently on? No, I don't. So it has to be in with the switch light. And if I've got a free core, then I've got a black conductor left, which I can then make a switch live and make the brown permanent light. It's all about what you do at the end. So what I suggest you start doing is strip one cable, always sleeve it straight away so you don't get confused. Um, CPC into, these, into the CPC, obviously into the terminal, yeah. neutral into a way go, Permanent live into wherever that goes, and then the switch live into wherever that goes. Yeah. I always get rid of like I always every most every switch I get rid of the neutrals and the earths. Yes, and then sometimes some of the neutral one of the neutrals is used as a switch live. So I'm like I got to take that blue out and sleeve it brown, and then I'm like uh gets a bit confusing. Yeah, what I would suggest in that situation. Let me just wipe this off. <laughs> Now I think I think you know what, what, what to do. Um, I think it's a bit unsure in yourself, if I'm honest with you, because I mean it's, it's always nerve-wracking when you're trying to explain it to someone. But again, if you're I mean, let's say that this is a, a switch that I've come to set and fix. I'm expecting obviously to find some cables in that. But effectively, if I had a cable coming in, but let's say that this is a cable coming into the box that I then need to strip. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this is one cable. This is another cable. And this is a third cable. 
It always helps if they're labelled. I mean, would you ever get there and they're not labelled? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's not your fault because someone, whoever's wired it, should label the cable because otherwise, how, how the hell are you going to know? Yeah. So that's that's not your fault. Yeah, so, like... the I would put on here, feed, uh, yeah. switch fire. And sometimes what I tend to do is take a little nick out of the switch fire. On the side. Yeah. And then this can be whatever it wants. I mean, this might be another feed, let's say. But before I strip that, what I then do is I put an F there, an SW there. Yeah, I'll do that. And an F there. And then I know when I strip that off, if I forget where I am, yeah. I'm all right. Yeah. And then if anyone else turns up, they should be all right as well. Yeah, that's what I do as well. Okay. The other thing I suggest you do is that when you strip it, let's say, you know, obviously, if I strip this all the way back to there, what I'm going to end up with is so brown. Green. Blue. Okay. When I strip this one back, I'm going to end up with a brown, another green, and then another blue. But this one isn't a neutral. This is a this is a switch wire. So before I move any further, I've already got a piece of sleeving handy, and I switch I sleeve that before I go any further. So then if I forget what I'm doing or someone else comes over and distracts me, I then don't lose track of what I'm doing. Because there's nothing more frustrating in the world than a simple job that's then suddenly become very difficult because you've forgotten which core that is. Because then your only option really is to bail it out by either doing R1, R2, yeah. Or end to end with a long lead. And that just takes time. You're wasting time. Yeah. So if you know, as soon as I strip that, I sleeve the switch wires. If it was a free core, I would sleeve the neutral straight away. So then I don't forget what they are. And then it's just a matter of just terminating the switch then. Another thing that I've done as well is that when I strip the feed. I strip the end off the um, basic insulation as well for anything that's a permanent feed. So I would strip this, I would strip this, I would strip that, but not this one because it's a switch wire. And then I would yeah. strip this one and this one. And then I know when I'm terminating it, anything that I come across that's not stripped is a switch wire. Yeah. Just little things that you can do that might make yeah. it a bit easier. But my, it sounds to me, Liam, that you know, your your main problem is that if people aren't labelling the cables, you haven't got a hope in hell. Yeah. The only thing you can then do is go to your light fitting, connect L1 and, uh, sorry, uh, R1 and R2 together, and then yeah. start filling it out at the switch to find out which cable's which. Yeah. And that's going to take time. Thanks a lot. No Thank problem. Thanks, Adrian. Have a good day. You too. Right. Thank you. Cheers.